Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Barnett Gotchi. I hate making backlog of updates just by themselves. I am actually watching The Rising of the Shill Hero. I didn't really want to come back to this because of the way that, it, that I'm just kind of disappointed in this series. And it's not because of the, is, of the characters or anything like that. It's the way that they, they kept trying to put sad music in there where it doesn't belong. So, but anyway, WTF is descriptions that are they're supposed to be, it sums up the show, right? Well, those are fine. This is stupid. It's not really summing up the show. It's trying to get you to, to bypass it. This is like the second freaking episode or something or whatever that I've seen so far where it's like trying to goat you into wanting to know more. You know, like, okay, maybe you ought to play the video, but still, I'm okay with the description. I don't need this all this other bullshit, like, okay, maybe I need to fucking sit here and... Why don't I just spoil myself? Instead of, instead of just watching the video, I'll just watch the whole damn thing. Tell me about everything about the damn episode. That's an utter freaking mistake right there. They should not have done. Like, really? What was this creators thinking? Are they, did they get? Did they fall and hit their head or something? You know, they make medicine for that. Dumbasses. I mean, really? Why? I don't remember what the other one said, but it, it started to try and ooh, mm, pisses me off, man. So. Raptalia is imprisoned in a rebel kingdom, kingdom, I'm sorry, Ray in a, let me start that over. Raptalia is imprisoned in a Ray Bull, without the double L's anyway, kingdom prison. She's wary of Lark's team, Lark's, you mean Lark? Why don't you just say that? Anyway, who is also imprisoned there, but asks them for help in exchange, in Excuse me, answer them. We're helping escaping. Glass is weakened by the draining power of the prison. Could have just said, and, and just left it there. But no, they had to bring it on with this other. Okay, this is the crap I'm talking about right here. Ralph Talia has a plan to escape, but. But what? What, you dumb fuck? Don't make me play the fucking video, because I will play the video. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered with bother reading the stupid description because now you make it so stupid and useless. I might as well just not bother or go over there and read a damn book. Like, I really want to waste my time reading a damn book. All right, this is what happened. They escaped the prison and... Well, they... they, they uh, and, and, you know, and, and, and shit happens. I'm not going to really spoil it for you because I don't know myself. But still, I mean, really, I might as well just sit here and spoil it for you. Well, did you know that in the last episode, I can't remember everything, but they finally found Philo. Oh, you don't know who Philo is? Well, you need to watch season one. Somewhere around the line, they decide to get that hero. And then they lose her in season two. Somewhere around there. So, they eventually get it caught up with her, and they had to lose Raptalia just to get her. So, what the crap? So, that actually, that just kind of spoils it, but it sums it up in such a way that it doesn't tell you everything, like it's going to ruin it for you. I mean, my God. But let me just, let me just go into every glorified detail about it. Well, the woman that has this sting in her hand... Uh, a fishing pole, this strikingly hot woman. Looks like she's too damn young, but she's in her twenties. Excuse me. Anyway, uh, or maybe she's older. I don't freaking know. I don't know. I don't even understand the logistics of this new world that they're in. So, anyway, uh. Something or something, and something happened, and they freed Philo, and and 
and they got revenge on the dude, but they didn't bother to kill him, even though they threatened to kill him. I would guess that if I was in this scenario, that if I finally got my hatred back, that I supposedly lost in the first season, but I didn't know I lost until season two, I'd be like, I'm going to kill this son of a bitch, and bam, he dead. I don't care, man. Some bitch hurt my friend. What? It's just a show. Come on. Get real, people. In real life, I, I would never do that shit. I don't condone that kind of stuff. But honest to God, why would you do this? It just makes me... It just ruins it. Be lucky. I don't really care that I'm just too bored to give a shit to watch something else. Uh, otherwise, I would uh, you know waste my time watching something else instead of watching this. But it still overall ruins it. It really does. And I'm going to tell you something, Sonny and Jim. If I see one more damn description like that, you're going to suffer. And by the suffer, I mean, I'm not going to watch. How is that freaking freaking answer? Okay, let's face it. I, who am I kidding? I'll probably watch it. After all, I'm too heavily invested into this thing in any way. But I shouldn't, really. I'm just so bad and terrible at this blasted game, you know, of not trying to watch something even though, I, you know, because I shouldn't, but I'm going to. I admit that there's lots of things that if I, if I lose interest in it completely, then I wind up doing not watching it. Like with Voyager, I can't even watch that now anyway, even if I wanted to, because they moved it to stupid freaking, what's the name of that thing I'm thinking of? I can't think of it now. It was something I was paying for, then I stopped paying for it. What the hell is the name of that damn thing? I think we're supposed to be able to find Picard up here, but I don't know. Good, the freaking mic's still on. So... Yeah, I was looking up phones. Anyway. <sighs> Where to find Picard? Paramount! Yeah, that damn thing. I'm sorry, I apologize. You might want to turn on your volume every time I yell, but yeah. I mean, seriously. Excuse me, Paramount Plus. Oh, God. So, yeah. Uh, they actually promised there was going to be more where they had a whole class of reunion. And then some dumbass who thought they were so clever said they're just not ready for Dr. Crusher. The hell they aren't. They weren't, then that means they weren't ready for the Q to be so blastedly serious. You fart knocker. And one of the things I don't really get is the whole fixing the plot hole thing when Data dies and he can't come back unless someone else decides to take over the role because, or they let allow it, because the original one who played the role said he doesn't want to do it. He's too old. Too hard to do all that. It just doesn't feel right, and I can't blame the man. Still wish he would play Data, but he won't. I mean, Data. Even I do. I don't get me wrong. I'll be one of the first ones to admit it. One of them. I'm like you, dumb motherfucker. You say I did bad fun. No, don't say that horse shit. I guarantee you, there's a lot of people who go. I want to play it too. Oh well, but he won't. Okay. You are one of them. Get it straight. Anyway. Bye.